All right, so the ribbon that we are working with is this awesome Polar Express collection from Rollin' in Ribbon, and I've shared this here with you guys before. I almost did not want to cut into it. Okay, I did not want to cut into it. I wanted to hoard all of this, but Kennedy needed a cute bow. So I did trim off just a little teeny tiny bit, and this is what we're going to make the bow with today. Look at that. Little tickets over here. Oh, it's so cute. Look at the tracks. Anyways. That's the ribbon that we're working with. Put that over there. Um, I promised that I would share how I made this uh, peppermint princess bow or the style that I used. The tails are straight in the middle. This is actually a twisted boutique bow on top. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And okay, so the main parts that we're working with today, we've got a couple of twisted boutique bows. I'm using a twisted boutique bow with 7 8 inch on the bottom as my base bow. My topper is also a twisted boutique using 7 8 inch. I'm using spikes, of course, our surround -a bow and tails. And I've got a cute little tool puff, and I'm probably going to go ahead and add some more um, embellishments. But these are the main ones, and as always, look down below, and you can find tutorials for all of these bow parts, as well as measurements, and something that I did a little bit different. I also included photo tutorials on the blog, and that link will also be down below. Okay, if you take a look at this bow, you will notice it's different from the pony bow. Uh, I believe it was a My Little Pony bow that we recently did. Um, this has uh, a twisted boutique on the top instead of a twister uh, bow with tails. And um, this right here, the tails are straight behind the twisted boutique bow, and they are from our surround -a bow. It's just going to be the top of a surround -a bow and then we're gonna leave long tails. All right, I'm gonna share with you how to do that right now. Okay, go ahead and grab a couple of alligator pinch clips because we're gonna use these. We need a couple of extra hands. And I'm actually working with two pieces of ribbon. I'm using this awesome stripe, the red and white stripes, like a candy cane stripe. And then on top of it is that railroad track. Actually working with two pieces of ribbon and what I did was fuse the two ribbons together I've got this candy cane stripe right here and then of course the railroad track and to fuse the two pieces together now you can use your fabric fusion um, glue pen and fuse them together that way or you can do what I did I used my heat and bond the adhesive um, you can iron it on one get it good hot and sticky and then put the other ribbon on top and what I did was put it in my heat press, or you can use an iron and fuse the two ribbons together and they're not gonna go anywhere. All right, so now we've got our ribbon that we're going to be using for our surround bow tails. Going to fold it in half, fold it in half, and we're gonna find the middle, crease it just like you would if you're making your surround bow. We just wanna know where the middle is. All right, you can even put a clip right there in the center to mark it for you. All right, just like um, we were making this around the bow, you're gonna come and you're going to form your first loop, just like so. Now, I wish I had a really impressive way uh, that I go about measuring um, as far as where to make your first loop, but I don't. So what I do is I take my twisted boutique bow and I put it right there inside and just kind of measure and see what it's going to look like once it's uh, good and glued and that's about where I want it. All right, now you're going to take your, don't glue it yet. Now you're going to take your pinch clip and we're going to come up here and put it right at the top just to secure it while we make the second loop. See, there's my clip. All right, you can go ahead and remove this from the middle because I think we know where the middle is now. Now just form your second loop and put it side by side. See? All right, and a good way to measure where um, your loops need to meet, go down here and see your tails. They need to be lined up. So we're just going to move that up, move your loop up just a bit, and that's about good. All right, now they are lined up, and I'm going to come and put another um, clip right here just to secure that. 
All right, so this piece is now complete. Don't glue just yet because we're going to add our other tails. Okay, now I've got an assortment of ribbons that I'm going to use as tails or streamers and they're going to hang behind this ribbon right here. All right, I'm working with this two pieces of this blue and then I've got two pieces of this candy print. I've got some 3 8 inch candy print as well as some polka dots. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the longer two pieces, which happen to be these blue pieces. Now, if you put your clips at the top right there, you're going to come and you're just going to lift up and underneath your tails right here, these right here, you're going to insert your other pieces of ribbon. They're going to just like that. And you're just going to add some fabric fusion or your E6000 or whatever glue you're working with. And that's how we're going to attach these tails. Now make sure they line up with the top ribbon. See, they're going to hang down. All right, so remember, before you glue your um, surround a bow right here, you're just going to lift up and attach all of your tails. My blue, and then on top of the blue, I'm going to come and add the candy print, and then um, you can add your other prints wherever you want to, and just make sure they, they all line up. And then once you are done, You'll just need to bring that back down and glue it down. Okay, now that everything is glued together, see everything is where it should, make sure it's all good and even, then you can trim up all of the ends how you want them, V-cuts, slant cuts, whatever you want, and then we can put the whole bow together with all of the other pieces. Okay, so my layering process is going to go like this. Of course, the base is going to be my Twisted Boutique bow, followed up by my spikes. And on top of my spikes will be the surround the bow tails. And then in the very middle of my surround the bow will be the Twisted Boutique bow. And then I will add all of my embellishments. All right, guys, I went ahead and attached it to a clip. The additional things that I did add, I put a bottle cap in the center, and you can find these bottle cap images on the Rollin' and Ribbon website. I'll leave a link down below. I also used some of the ticket ribbon. I just trimmed up, sealed, and stuck some tickets right there. And then, of course, I've got a red sequin bow. It is complete, ready for Kennedy to wear.